How's it going guys? So I thought I'd give a proper introduction because you guys don't really know me other than I'm TJ. I um, want to give you a little bit of my background. I am a professional welder. I am a professional dabbler of <laughs> many things for that matter. But I really like um, building out projects when I decide to start something new. I always write it down. I'm a big, big believer in taking notes. I mean, if it's just like a kind of a rough idea, I would like to do a kind of a crappy illustration because I'm not the best artist in the world, but just, I want to come up with a goal. I want to be able to figure out what I'm doing. And I mean, I will do this for any sort of project. Um, this was a random idea for a truck lock that just came to me probably while I was smoking. I don't really remember at this point, but yeah, got that. I mean, my biggest thing with taking notes is for something like a project, I can write it all out now and maybe I don't have the money or the time <laughs> to be able, more likely it's the money. But yeah, when I don't have the resources available to me, um, I can at least go back when I finally do have the time or the money to really build something out. So I'm a big proponent of growing marijuana, which is growing cannabis if you want to be actually with the right terms and whatnot. And you also find out about me. Sometimes I can speak very well, other times it comes out like absolute garbage. Damn Amazon man. Anyways, so yeah, it's like, okay, well, what, what do I want in a grow space? I will break it all down. I will look for costs, things like that. I mean, my books, I've got quite a few of them here. I've got more up inside the cabinets. They can be really random as to what's inside of them, but I mean, I want to look up the entire process. So it's like, for example, some grow list ideas. This was for an earlier idea of, you know, what it would cost to actually grow. Um, it does not cost this much. I'll tell you that much and I'm sure we can cover that in a future video on the other channel. But yeah, so I mean, okay, here's the grow process. What am I gonna need to start up? And then we have stuff like recurring costs. You have, you know, incidental things. And I mean, we even get to the point, or at least I should, I get to the point where I wanna start figuring out what it needs for extraction. I wanna take it all the way through. These are the kind of notes I keep. Um, and then of course, me being me, strain dream list, because there's certain ones out there I think we can all agree upon. You smoked when you were younger and you haven't had it since. And for me, I don't know if it's the nostalgia of it all, but it's really nice to be able to have a no joke, a taste of what your youth used to be like. So yeah, um, I'm not sure what else to say. Um, I like electrifying things. I had gone to a police auction a couple years back and uh, bought a bird scooter. My dad was a cop and he was like, oh, you gotta go to these auctions. I was like, oh, I want an electric scooter, why not? So I got a few electric scooters and that's really what started me down this need for speed. Um, it was a little tiny Xiaomi M365 um, and you could sideload firmware onto it to change up the speed controller as to you know, the amount of power or wattage going to the motor. So you could definitely overpower it that way. Um, you could actually side load it to even change the voltage, everything like that, if you were to introduce a larger battery and hopefully working speed <laughs> controller to go with it. Um, I'm sure that there is some way to bypass it when it comes to, you know, microelectronics, I'm not your guy. But most things, yeah, I'll figure out how to get it done. But with that, I was like, I wanna go faster. So side loading new, software on it i was able to go from you know 15 miles an hour up to 19 miles an hour my girlfriend tiny little lady she's buzzing at like 25 off the bat so she you know hers is fully good to go but i'm a heavier guy so yeah I'll only 19 miles an hour and it's like well let's increase the range so i figured out how to add an extended battery then it was like all right well let's put a second motor on it oh wow i don't have a handbrake anymore let's switch to an electronic braking system um, I was really into a lot of the forums online for uh, doing scooter conversions and various fun builds. Um, I've built quite a few scooters over the years now. Um, and I mean, they may look freaking ridiculous, like <laughs> having an igloo cooler mounted on the back of them just to hold batteries. Uh, that's, that's always really fun when you're 
driving down the street, sitting on this cooler, and uh, people drive up next to you, beer me, bro! No, there's no liquids here, bro. <laughs> Not gonna happen at all. Um, and I mean, I've definitely had a, quite a few unsuccessful builds. I've figured out what works, what doesn't. I tend to give them away to family members. I've never sold a single one, but I have a rough idea of what the next scooter's gonna be. As I've discussed, uh, we're going to be using this three kilowatt motor back here. I'm sorry, two kilowatt motor back here. Um, runs at 72 volts, um, have a matching speed controller for it. I can't remember the proper sprocket size, but we're looking to do um, a gear ratio. I want to say something like 17 or, or maybe it's 16. Let's go with 16 to like 65. It's going to be pretty ridiculous. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I've never done a chain driven system before, so that'll be fun. Um, and I mean, it's gonna look rickety, I'm not gonna lie. I have a rough idea of what I wanna do with it. I've actually started building a frame, um, but it's a really, really junky design. It was more of just like, hey, I want it to work, let's test it out. Um, so we'll definitely do something better with it. And then we are gonna be upgrading to an electric motorcycle. I wanna start my own electric motorcycle company. Once again, there'll be a separate channel just for that. Um, but we'll definitely cover the overall building of it here um, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. This is a 7 kilowatt motor. It's also 72 volts. Both of them I'm planning on running at 80 volts though. Um, that's assuming out the MOSFETs. MOSFET? MOSFET. One of those two can actually handle it for the speed controller. Um, probably, I think, you know, yeah, I'm speaking out of my ass with components. I took an electronic assembly class, but that just means I can put shit together. Um, I want, uh, I can always just put in a higher capacitor at 100 volts, that way we don't blow the cam. It'll be great. Um, but we are going to definitely upgrade from this 72 volt motor in a future uh, build for sure. Um, I just want to figure out what sort of bike I want to build. Do I want you know, something like a cross sport, you can take it off road, you can ride it on the road, or do I want something more like a bobber, something like that. It's gonna be fun though, no matter what it ends up being design wise, um, we'll definitely get there. I'm familiar with doing CNC work, obviously welding, um, electronic assembly. I'm okay at actual woodwork and building, but yeah, I can do it. I'm not the biggest person to, call upon when it comes to doing regular construction though. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to think of what else I can introduce about myself. I should have taken proper notes for this and had like a page sitting here underneath the camera stand as to what I should be talking about. But um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm a pretty open person. Um, yeah. Go pot, go psychedelics, big fan. Not the largest consumer necessarily, but I, I'm a pretty big advocate for most of the forms out there. I feel like anyone who watches Rogan is definitely gonna have at least tried stuff. But I'm a big believer in putting what you want into your own body as long as you're not harming other people. I also live my life by the philosophy of I don't care the color of your skin, your gender orientation, the job you have, the money you make, the car you drive, the people you associate it with, you know, the watch you wear. At the moment I said my watch tan, sorry, didn't plan ahead. The watch you wear, anything like that, at the end of the day, we're all just people and we're all just trying to survive. You know, the human condition is so damn cruel. And I know that sounds very granola, but it's just like treat everyone with respect and dignity until they give you a reason not to. And even then, don't be rude to them. Just get them out of your life. It's a lot simpler. Um, uh, that's an epiphany I realized on an acid trip from the uh, Grateful Dead Farewell Tour acid I took. Smallest chat ever, most intense. That was really profound. Um, I can also tell you that I have bipolar disorder and thanks to a strong dose of shrooms, I was able to get myself off of antidepressants completely and then also cut my daily dosage in half. So, 
yeah, with the doctor's approval. So good stuff. So I highly recommend everyone check it out, but it's not for everybody. But yeah, that's about me. And make sure to like and subscribe. Very good.